this is Kit. I'm here with the Oxford-based New Wave Rockers, the Scholars. We're here at the Gramophone in Shoreditch, and I'm here to chat about the guys about their headline slot tonight at the Live and Loud Showcase gig. How's it going, guys? Good. Great. Good. Thank you. Good. Yes, yes. Oh, really? Is that all? Just that good? Excited. Okay, so going around, the names of the guys are Adrian, Chris, we've got Tim, Lee, and Josh. Five out of five. Yep. All right. Not bad. <laughs> so no one's even bothered I got them right. Never mind. Okay. So, um... <laughs> One of the things that um, Live and Loud is trying to do over the next sort of six months is we're trying to, uh, we are in fact creating 500 new venues. The way that's being done is we are marrying the, um, the, the band to the bar manager, making it much easier to directly contact each other, making it much easier to set the venues. And because of this, obviously 500 new venues in six months, I mean, that's a lot, yeah. all at one time, and a lot more opportunities to play. So how much of a, a big effect do you think that's gonna have on the UK gig scene? No measurable effects, especially when you consider if you're going out of your hometown to get a gig, there's you know 101 pitfalls that you can, and every band has probably fallen in. So, I mean, like us, bands really do need all the help they can get. With a community like Live and Loud, obviously anything that contains all those vibes, all those good bands, all the uh, all the all the venues and the promoters that want to get involved and want to you know just put on good gigs, I think that's a that's definitely what you've got to go to. We are looking forward to our competition winners. The Scholars and Tim, where's Tim? I need to present Tim with this amazing uh, for being our winners of the live and now kickoff game. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> so now, here they are, the Scholars. So from an A&R point of view, um, to try and find the standout bands across the thousands of which are out there gigging on a regular basis is just an absolute nightmare. It's a, a very difficult thing to try and do and yeah, there are no guarantees, it's very difficult. The most important thing is the live performance and the crowd's reaction. Um, obviously you're always looking for decent musical talent, uh, decent delivery of the songs, but it's without a doubt the, uh, the, live, the live performance and, and the punter's reaction. I think one of the most important things to take away from it is the fact that there is no such thing as an overnight success. All these bands work like to their absolute credit. They, they start off really, really difficult and they have to work through millions and millions of gigs and, and build up their fan base and, and keep on going. So it's a lot of hard work, but hopefully they'll get there. Alive and Loud definitely provides that platform. How do you think Live and Loud could help any band, yourselves or any other band, get out there more, you know, hone their craft more, get more experience in front of crowds and so on and so forth? Yeah, like you, there's, a, there's a sort of rule of thumb that you have to pay a certain amount of gigs before you can be sort of considered credible or before you can even think about sort of uh, badgering A&R guys to come down or to say you, you have a shred of sort of, like I say, credibility yet. So just being able to get bands in and out of as many venues to as many different people to as many crowds and meeting like I say networking and meeting as many people as you can that makes all the difference I think um, live and loud um, I don't think there's anything more you can really do because 
what you do is you bridge the gap between new artists to venues and new artists like Tim says about you know credentials if a venue doesn't know the band and they don't have anything to back them up then there's they're not going to really put them on mm. or not you know put them on a, a good uh, slot or something whereas having someone as a middleman uh, can you know bridge the gap and you can talk to the venues and it just just helps in a way that you, you can't have without without that access.